Hello Aquarius, welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for the second half of September 2020. Hope you are doing well Aquarius. This is a general reading, so I am reading lots of different energies and people. Not all of the messages here will resonate for you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. And don't force the messages to fit your story, okay? If it's not your story, it's not your story. What do we have for Aquarius spirit? What do they need to know? Second half of September 2020. And then we'll get into the tarot, figure out what's coming in. Okay, we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Hyper-focused at this time, perhaps, Aquarius. What else do we have for Aquarius? I'll pull one more of these and then we'll get into the tarot. What's happening? We have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Very cool. Okay. Uh, a lot of transformational energy coming in right now for you to understand what's going on and expansion of consciousness. How cool is this? Let's see what's coming in for you. Aquarius. Many of you may be contemplating the meaning of life at this time. There's a reason why you're here on this planet. And you may be coming into some realizations. How cool. Okay, what's coming in for Aquarius? Second half of September. We have the Six of Swords. Parting of ways. Either with a job, a relationship, a friendship. Interesting. We have the Six of Cups. Possibly someone from your past coming in. We will clarify. What else for our Aquarius spirit? We have the Fool card. A new beginning. We have the Empress. Nice. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so let's clarify what is happening here. What is the Six of Swords about, Spirit? For our Aquarius, what is the Six of Swords about? We have the Two of Swords. The sun. Hmm. Many of you parting ways with someone. Um, a, there's a tower moment happening. Okay. There's an ending here. There is a crossroads you're at with someone. You're not seeing a way forward with this person. Um, and I, with the sun card being here, I think that you're going to come into some kind of realization about your next move. Okay. And it's going to be a sudden change in your life. With this tower moment being here. Yeah, there's an ending. The world card just came out. Okay. You're dealing with uh, a ending of a relationship, an ending of a job, an ending of something. There's some kind of major ending in your life here that's going to bring you great happiness with the sun card being here. And I think it's taking you a while to make a decision about this person or this situation. I think that... Um, it's taken a long time for you to conclude this chapter in your life, okay? Um, for whatever reason, I think that you were hung up on this person. Tell me about the Six of Cups person. The hanged man. You could be thinking about someone from your past, but wondering whether or not to reach out to them. I think that you're contemplating it. What's this hanged man about in the Six of Cups? The Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. So, um, 
What else, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this wheel and this hangman energy here? Yeah, Ace of Swords and Queen of Swords. Okay. So, someone cut you out of... You're thinking about some this Queen of Swords energy. Or this is you. You either cut someone out of your life or they cut you out. Either way, um, you're thinking about this person. And there's going to be some kind of moment of clarity that's going to make you want to reach out to them. Okay? I think that, um, that someone from your past... And you're in between, you're just, it feels like you're hanging around thinking if you should reach out. There's going to be some kind of realization about this person that's going to come to you. And it was meant to be that you two connect with each other. This could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be anybody, really. It's somebody that you're divinely guided to connect with, okay? Tell me more about this connection. This Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. This is a this is a question mark for me here. Ace of Pentacles. It could be that you're coming into an alignment with someone from your past, perhaps a partnership. Um, possibly some kind of money situation you've had with somebody. Huh? Somebody may be offering you a lar very large pentacle. <laughs> Okay, you may be coming into alignment with someone who um, you're going to be offering them or they are going to be offering you a, a some kind of a job or a friendship, even maybe even a an engagement here for some of you. Hmm, interesting, a gift of some kind coming your way. It's going to take a little while though. But it's coming in for you. Perhaps some money for an inheritance for some of you. This could be from a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. I feel like a lot of you here are um, <clears throat> needing to take a time out to clear your energy. Possibly from this person that you were in a relationship with. I think that there is a calling to make your own money. Make your own way. Um... I think that um, this person that you're coming into contact with, this connection, is going to help you um, find solace being on your own, especially if you're, you're parting ways with someone. I think that um, this person may provide you companionship during your separation. It's a friend energy here, possibly, and it may have even been a past lover, but it's somebody that you um, connect with on a same emotional level someone who's on the same page as you possibly somebody you've known for a very long time and um, this person may be on the same wave wavelength that you are um, if you're going through some kind of expanded consciousness awareness at this time this person is going to help you understand what's happening in your life Spirit, tell me about this full energy, this new beginning here. What is this all about? You're taking a leap of faith towards something, whether this is a job or a relationship, or maybe just stepping out into the world as a single person, King of Pentacles. Here you are. This could be you, King of Pentacles, or somebody you're dealing with. Ten of Swords. Perhaps this person betrayed you in the past. But perhaps you there was betrayal in this relationship in the past. But it could be that um, this person was a player energy. This person you could be coming into contact with. Um, it seems they're kind of a passionate person. The sun. This person could be your happiness, okay? This Queen of Wands energy here. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here. We have someone here who's very stable with their money. They're very wise. They're very mature. They're very um, happy in who they are. And then you have this Queen of Wands energy, someone who's very passionate, a very strong feminine energy. Someone's passionate here who has... Um, 
a desire to live life to the fullest. There may have been betrayal in your past with this person. However, the sun card is coming out here. And so I think that you're being divinely guided toward this person. It may be a temporary situation. I don't know that this person is going to be your happily ever after, but I do think that you are connecting with somebody here who is going to help you get your mind out of this funk of leaving this new person. Perhaps you're going to start dating this person in a very um, casual way, which is totally fine because I don't think that you want to get jumping right back into another commitment. I think that you're going to have it, this person is going to help you find passion and adventure and and but no with no strings attached which for you may feel like a really great idea right now <laughs> because i think that you're not especially if you're just coming out of a a relationship with someone here um there's an ending with somebody you're not trying to jump right into another relationship tell me about the empress card here spirit the magician Something is something is coming up um, that's been in the works under the, behind the scenes that you may not be aware of, Aquarius. Okay, um, tell me more about this magician here, Page of Pentacles. I, this is interesting because there is a divine feminine energy here of someone who. Um, Maybe this person's very intuitive. They may be trying to connect with you and offering a, and this could be you, offering a small token of friendship or, and this could be this same Queen of Wands person over here. Um, the perception is that, and there may be a choice, okay? There's this passion energy of somebody here that you're interested in dating, but then there's another energy here of someone who, is an empress energy this could be your twin flame okay um it's a divine feminine individual and i think that you may be trying to figure out which one you want to be with okay take this how it resonates depending on your situation with this three of pentacles that came out there you may be juggling a different people and there's nothing wrong with that I don't think there's anything wrong with that here because you're not making any kind of commitments to anybody. But there's a very sh there's a very intuitive person here. He's very kind and loving and nurturing, perhaps a mother figure who um is offering a friendship to you, offering love to you. Okay? Interesting. And then you have this party person who wants to have a good old time. And I think that you want to jump right in with this person and go have some fun. But they, there's not a complete trust f for this person at all. Because your past may, this person may have betrayed you in the past here. So I think that in the second half, so, uh, there's a lot going on. In the second half of September, you're ending parting ways with someone. Okay, take this how it resonates. You're coming into comfortable being on your own, but then you're starting to date other people and consider other options here. And um, hmm. there's a lot of shifts happening. A lot of different um, people and situations to consider here. And I think that you're on this path just trying to be on your own, happy on your own, but yet reaching out for companionship with these other people. And I don't see that there's any kind of major outcome to be had here. It's just you're spending time with other people, possibly several different people, and um, but also making your own money, focusing on your own happiness, and coming into a comfort with who you are, cutting out the people that don't serve your energy well, and moving on with your life, Aquarius, is what I see here. Okay. Okay, Aquarius, that's what I have for you guys. Uh, I hope this resonated for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.